So normally if you miss one or you have a problem, there's something that's happened where you haven't even visualised it yeah. or you've forgotten the pathway, right? Mm -hmm. So um, what I'm going to encourage you to do, and we're going to talk about it in the next session, is you need to have, over time, about five palaces that you've made and used in your own time. And you actually can reuse those again. So once you know the pathway, the more familiar it becomes to you, the more you can actually lay information in there very quickly. Because this is for short-term learning, right? So these are called like short-term memory palaces or um, for training memory palaces. So you have different types. If you are learning a language, you get a memory palace that you're only ever gonna review that palace for those words. Um, I give a whole lot of public speaking speeches that I do and I have like a library of memory palaces. So someone can contact me and go, oh, can you give your talk on blah? And I go, when, tomorrow? Yeah, no problem. Because and it's only ever got that information in there. And I, the more times you review it, it slowly goes into your long-term memory and you kind of don't need it anyway. It's more for just when you blank out and you go, oh, hang on, what am I trying to talk about now? And then you go, oh, I'm up to there. And it gives you like a little prop. It's like someone whispering in your ear. What we're doing here is a temporary memory palace to like improve your memory and to do training on a regular basis. Um, and you can actually, you can go over that material. Like in two days, or probably, often your first memory palace is a bit different, but subsequent ones. Um, after you've used this shopping list, three days later, you could put a new shopping list in the same place. You're just in the sink, it's no longer a pumpkin, there's, you know, avocados. So, um, so that will sort of become, become a bit clearer sort of as we talk about it a bit more. Um, something else I just kind of wanted to point out as well is <clears throat> a lot of the times in life, um, information is, uh, if you remember it in an order, you get extra information that you didn't realise that you, you could. So it's always um, important to order the information before you memorise it. So um, in this example, <clears throat> If I was actually going to a supermarket, I actually do it in order. So I go, I'm gonna do all the fresh things I need first, yeah. and then I'm gonna do you know, things from the cold area. So you do it in the right order, yeah. so that as you go into the supermarket, you're getting all your fresh stuff. And then if you're driving, you go, oh, I forgot, I actually also need mushrooms. I would just go back in and put it with the oranges, it's running oranges and mushrooms together and they're smashing. You can chuck it in there, it will work. So if there's sense in order, always do that before you memorize it. Um, for kids, if kids are ever using these techniques, there's so many occasions when this would help where like, let's say if they were trying to remember all the countries in a continent, if they're gonna do that anyway, they may as well do it in some sort of order that helps them get extra learning, like in, in size, country size. So from the smallest country to the largest country. And then when they're in a test and they're like, you know, what are the three largest countries in the continent of Europe? Well, they know it's gonna be the last three in their memory palace, right? So you can often get a lot more information by remembering something in a memory palace because it's in an order. Um, but even when it's not in an order, it's also valuable because you're getting an extra association because you already know that place, so it helps you remember it. This is also ideal for if you're ever giving any sort of class or lecture or um, if you're any sort of teacher and you normally refer to notes. Because you can essentially, hypothetically, if you're a yoga teacher, let's say, um, and there's a move here that a guy called Luke always does really well. And if you go in this exercise, you know, um, we're going to do that exercise next. Oh, Luke looks awesome doing that. You'd probably at that point in your memory palace, you'd see Luke doing that on the stairs, right? So you could just go through your notes um, and then that would prompt you to say, okay, next we're going to do blah.